and she's three years old. Now she came in today because she's had a wee bit of a sore ear for about four or five days now, but then the owner said that she hasn't been eating much for the last two days and was quite lethargic. So that got me thinking, is it actually all due to the ear or have we got something else going on? So during the consultation, we can look at this ear and I mean, there's a little bit of scabiness, but really inside the ear was pretty good and it wasn't that inflamed at all. But what we did notice is when we looked at her gum colour and amongst all this fluff on her mouth, it wasn't as bright pink as it normally would be in a dog. There's a wee bit of pinkness there compared to the white fang tooth, but it's certainly paler than it usually is. And the owner did actually notice this too. The other thing when I took her temperature is it was a wee bit elevated, 39.4. So not a true fever, but it was certainly getting up there. And you could actually feel she was a little bit hotter. There's no history of any vomiting or diarrhea, and actually her tummy doesn't feel too bad at all. Maybe a little bit more sort of doughy at the anterior abdomen. So we suggested running some blood, and as we took the blood, we noticed something quite interesting. So when we put the blood into a blood tube, it did this weird separating. Now this is a EDTA tube, which has got anticoagulant in it. So that shouldn't do that. You almost got clumping of red blood cells. So what we next did was a PCV, and in the hematocrit tube, that did the same. Interesting thing was its blood count was 14 to 16. And we've said before that normally that should be at least 30. So she was in fact anemic. So when we did a blood smear, it did the same clumping action too. And that's quite spectacular. So here is Kaya's PCV, as you can see it's sitting around the 14-16% mark and like I've said elsewhere I like it to be between a third to a half so it should be up around the 33% so she's getting almost half. So this clumping is quite unusual so we're definitely going to get this blood off to the lab and see what the pathologists make of it. I'm a little bit suspicious she might have something called immune-mediated hemolytic anemia. Now that's a disease where the immune system attacks its own red cells and splits them open, so that's why you've got the anemia. And they also tend to clump. Can be a few other things as well, but definitely that would be my number one. So we're going to keep a close eye on her. We're going to regularly check the gum colour and the PCV. We're going to watch her respiration rate and also monitor her heart rate. Her heart rate isn't too bad at the moment, only around 120, but if that starts creeping up and her PCV starts dropping, then we might even have to get in and give her a blood transfusion. So we're going to actually get her on steroids because they're really good for immune-mediated diseases. And we're going to keep an eye on her closely and we'll let you know how she's getting on. Thanks for watching. Hi, so we're with Kaya again and it's been not quite 24 hours since I saw her yesterday. And she's actually doing really well. I did send her home because she still seemed quite energetic, um, not completely flat. And I felt that she was probably going to be happier at home, but we definitely got her in this morning and checked that PCV again. So... She's actually had some food too, and the owner said she seemed to be a wee bit more alert and conscious of things. So her gum colour is pretty much the same this time. Still a little bit of a pinkness there. I've even done a heart rate, so that's 108, whereas yesterday it was 120, so a wee bit faster yesterday. Um, and her respiration is at 32, so that's well below the 40 that we usually like. Now, we've taken a wee blood test, and for interest, I also put a wee drop on a slide. And it didn't actually separate as quickly. It's now starting to. This has been sitting around for a couple of minutes. But as you can see, compared to yesterday, 
it hasn't really gone all weird it has a wee bit in the middle but not as much so that's a good sign and then what we did was our PCV and we've popped that on there and look it's even around 18 so like I've said in another video we like it to come up about one or two PCVs per day and she's already back up to 18 where she was 14 16 yesterday so that's about on track so I think we're pretty much now with our diagnosis we're still going to send our samples away just to confirm if you're clever you can also look under the microscope yourself and look for spherocytes and things going on so that's a potentially serious disease and even may have needed a blood transfusion but we um, we got in there early and we're doing really well the thing with blood transfusions if it's a mediated we try not and transfuse them because they're going to just attack the red cells in the new blood as well. We generally find that they can tolerate lower levels of PCV with immune mediated because it's usually a more gradual drop as opposed to a blood loss or a rat bait um, where it's more sudden. So she's doing really well. We're going to keep an eye on her and wait for our results and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Hi, so we're with Kyra again. It's another couple of days and we're just in checking her PCV. The owner reports that she's really good today. She was barking at the husband coming home and really full of energy. So that's great. We've just done our PCV and it's looking at 22, 24. So that's come up even more. So not quite up to normal, but getting there and we're on the right track. Our bloods are still coming back from the lab. They should be back today and confirm our diagnosis. But we'll see her again in a few days and, and make sure we're all good. Thanks for watching. Hi, so we're with Kyra again. It's been 10 days since we diagnosed her with immune-mediated hemolytic anemia. So we're just checking her PCV. Already it looks better in the blood tube. It's not separating out. And if we have a look at her gum colour, it's actually got some pinkness there so we look above you go look through all the pigment there but that's pretty good when we blanch it we've actually got some pinkness coming back so she's doing really well she's still on quite a high dose of steroids i'm going to keep that going for a good two or three weeks maybe even a month and then we'll um, maybe start weaning her off really slowly it's going to take weeks to, to wean her off we'll have a look at that and i'll let you know what we find in a minute thanks